morning, friends, or afternoon, where you are. This is Dr. Michelle Bankson coming to you with another hope-filled perspective. Uh, I'll be very honest and tell you, I I had no intention of, of doing another video this morning, but um, the Lord just put something on my heart, and so I felt like it was was to share with somebody who needs to hear it. You know, this morning I woke up in some of the worst pain that I've been in since um, receiving this diagnosis and and um, having surgery and starting treatment. And I was frustrated. I was frustrated because it's a day when I had planned to do some Christmas shopping and some wrapping and, you know, just trying to take care of some of those things that we all feel the need to do around the Christmas season. But then I started having my quiet time and the Lord kind of spoke to me and said, you know, what you're struggling with is not just something that you struggle with during the Christmas season. And that is that you have a tendency to jump into problem solving and doing mode. And the more he spoke to me, the more I realized that that tendency to jump into the problem solving mode, um, it excludes God from the process. It takes God out of the picture. And the more I sat in my quiet time and reflected on it, I thought about how, um, as a neuropsychologist, I have spent years problem solving with patients. And so it's very well ingrained, but the enemy can use that for my disadvantage. The Lord can use it for good, but the enemy always tries to twist everything and use it for bad. And um, he, he can use it for bad because we can get so focused on the tasks and on the problems and even on the pain um, that we lose sight of what God wants. And so the Lord gently reminded me of the scripture this morning in Luke. You probably know it, it's, it's pretty well known, Luke 10, 41 through 42. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken from her. And as I remembered that famous story, the thing that kept ringing true to me um, throughout this health issue, throughout the Christmas season, through um, trying to see my kids through challenges, is that the most important thing that we can spend our time doing is actually not really doing at all but being in the Lord's presence and seeking what he would have for us to do, to be, to say. And when we do that, he's gonna show us the right priorities for the day, for the moment, for the week, because he knows what is best. So I don't know what's on your plate this weekend. I don't know if you're screwing around trying to um, manage the tasks for Christmas, or if you've got company coming in town, or you're dealing with health crises, or what it is. But my hope-filled perspective to you today is to let go and let God take control by just taking the time to prioritize spending time in His presence. I hope that that encourages you today. If it does, feel free to share this video so that someone else can be encouraged as well. Until next time, this is Dr. Michelle Bankson with your hope-filled perspective. May you have a hope-filled day.